Hello everyone, this is Asin Ali. <clears throat> Today we are with uh, another topic of CC 3.2.2 and that is about heat input, arc energy, its variables and effects. First of all, I will discuss the uh, difference between heat input and arc energy. <clears throat> what actually the arc energy is, for example, this is a uh, base metal, P number, P number, uh, two base metal for example in front of you and this is the weld bead which you have to weld and this is your uh, electric rod okay now you are going to weld this uh, uh, joint so the total heat produced here is called arc energy total heat produced here is called arc energy and what actually heat input is heat input says that it is the actual amount which goes into the base metal and uh, which is called efficiency efficiency okay which is involved basically which is involved uh, in welding of this joint it is called heat input uh, for example I can say that heat input is equal to arc energy and some amount of energy will be eliminated here if we will add arc energy and that eliminated energy which has uh, uh, which ha which is inch sufficient uh, inefficient for our um, weldment that is that will be called if we will sum both of them then we will call it heat input okay this is the basic concept of heat input and arc energy what we see in uh, in our submerged arc welding in our submerged arc uh, welding the our weld we discovered with flux okay so the efficiency factor is 1.0 so when we multiply it now the hundred the, this heat input and this arc energy becomes equal because there is no wastage of uh, energy in the atmosphere so that's why in case of submerged arc welding uh, heat input is almost equal to arc energy okay if we will talk about the TIG welding TIG the efficiency factor is factor is 0.6 percent that means that uh, if we produce 100 amount of heat uh, during welding then only uh, 60 percent of heat is used to weld the belt bead and 40% heat is going into the atmosphere which is uh, not efficient for us okay uh, similarly in uh, SMAW submerged metal arc welding which is the most common welding the efficiency factor is 0.8% that means that 80% of your energy will be used to weld the weld bead and 20% will go into the atmosphere <clears throat> so this is first the basic concept of between uh, heat input and uh, arc energy so let's move on about the variables <clears throat> uh, if we talk about the arc energy first the arc energy uh, is basically dependent upon voltage into current divided by travel speed okay and heat input is equal to arc energy multiplied by efficiency factor <clears throat> if we further elaborate our heat and uh, heat input then it is voltage multiplied by current divided by travel speed and multiplied by efficiency factor efficiency factor will vary with the process to process for example in submerged arc welding this factor will be one so uh, when this will be one then these two will be equal that's mean that uh, arc <coughs> arc energy will be equal to our heat input so let's move on uh, so heat input depends upon voltage current and travel speed these are the variables if they will vary then uh, the uh, heat input will also vary <coughs> for example if we talk about the heat input with 
voltage then the both of these are directly proportional to each other that means that if voltage will increase then heat input will also increase in a similar fashion if the voltage will decrease the heat input will also be decreased in other way heat input is directly proportional to current that means that if current will increase heat input will increase if the current will decrease heat input will also decrease <coughs> now next and the most important factor which affects our heat input is travel speed what is actually is the travel speed for example this is our welding uh, weld bead and we are going to weld this in this direction so if this welding takes uh, there are two scenarios for example in first scenario the it takes about six minute to complete this welding and in second scenario it takes only two minutes to complete this welding total welding okay so in both of these two scenarios we will discuss uh, the heat input uh, variation in six minute scenario the travel speed is high as compared to two minutes when the travel speed will be high the heat input will be less that means that <coughs> Uh, sorry, it's, uh, travel speed is uh, tra travel speed is low. Uh, sorry, it, I'm talking about the time. Uh, travel speed will be slow here because it takes six minutes. So we are welding a very slowly. We are welding very slowly. So it taking more time as compared to two minutes. So the travel speed is very slow. When the travel speed will be so much slow. That means that heat input uh, is going very high bound and due to high heat input what will be the effects I will discuss in the next slide so it takes more time in low uh, uh, very low travel speed if the travel speed will be low the heat input will be high dissimilarly uh, in two minutes time you are welding so quickly you have to complete this in only two minutes so your travel speed is high now okay you are completing this in two minutes so uh, the heat input uh, will be less heat input will decrease and what will happen in this case the travel speed will be high so heat input will be less when the heat input will be less so the weld this weld joint will uh, cool down very fast cooling rate becomes so much fast when the cooling rate becomes so much fast you know that uh, when there is a high cooling rate then there is a chance of martin static structure that is basically a bct structure body center tetragonal structure and that has a very very high hardness so hardness will also increase if the cooling rate will be high in the first case uh, in six minutes case the travel speed was so much slow so when the travel speed was so much slow the travel speed was slow so the heat input will be high so when the heat input will be high that means that cooling rate will be less it will be slowly cool because the heat was entrapped inside of this uh, uh, heat factory zone because of a uh, high amount of heat trapped inside the weld bead so the heat will go in the heat affected zones also so it will take more time to cool down okay so the heat cooling rate will become slow when the cooling rate becomes slow that means that hardness will be less because there is a less chance of martensitic structure martensitic structure chances are less 
so the toughness chances need to be increased so the toughness will be good okay so these were the basic concepts of heat input and its variables and its relation with the our uh, arc energy hope you will understand uh, this main topic and if you will if you will grab these concepts you will get uh, very good results in your exam thank you we will uh, we will move forward in our next video with a new topic thank you